All right, guys, welcome back again for the next part. Uh, I hope you're doing great. So we're gonna start as usual when we left. So we gotta go back to the, I think the mission here. Uh, let's do this. This is a main. I think it's a main mission. We, uh, when we go out, like in the forest, I don't know. We'll find out. I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeat experience. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes, I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh. I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Okay, you can click the flies you can do health potion that's a good thing to know so now you have to craft a portion I don't know how maybe you will learn Look, from the forbidden forest hippogriffs I wonder if something startled them whoa what is this I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby seen the hippogriffs absolutely likely already named them too prompt soup and sugar that's the forbidden forest on the left it's off limits to students as the name implies why is it off limits the professors claim it is too dangerous I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring ah there's Hogsmeade over the crest past that ruin I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. She knows more about me than I had thought. Revelio. Well, I there we go. learn a great deal in class. Much be gleaned outside of the So we got a new grey highland deer.
How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. And what is here? Okay. Oh, it's animals. What is this? Let me in. No. Come here. Akio. Come here. Hi. No, just they're afraid. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? He's drunk. Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Uh, probably he's drunk, oh, like Moon. I said before. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the video. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for Level party. 1 lock. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can Let tell me you see. that I can you just are certain can to here. everything you need in Hogsmeade. Yeah, I can say here. What is this? Wow. The secret room. And what does this guy do? Hi. No. No respond. Let me just go upstairs here. Yeah, we got something here. <laughs> okay. Four lined cap. I mean, thank you. Can I talk to him? I cannot. Um, Rebellion. There we go. We got a ch chest here. I cannot open this. Maybe there's a secret here. Maybe just stay. No, I don't know how to open this, but we'll find out later. I see things here uh, outside. Okay. Rebellion. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course! You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. 
Experience hugs meet at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. So there is a map I can just collect. She mentioned about uh, This guy, Oliver, Olavander, whatever names are. Merlin's blooming beard, not again. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, uh, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, I. About time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Hmm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here. Give this one a try. Well, go ahead. Swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more. Come on. Really swish it. Oh, dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh my god. Goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah. There you are. I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Okay, let me just choose the color. Can I choose the color? How intriguing. Yeah, that'll be great. Hmm. Curious indeed. Let me see. Um, How intriguing. No. This one looks more perfect, I think. Maybe this. Curious indeed. This one looks so cool. And how intriguing. Pure maple. Curious indeed. Okay, uh, I have no idea with this. Of course I'm dragon. And let me just go back here. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> A 
another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. So, what is the next one? Thomas? Thing here. Yep. <laughs> Whoa. Not a day goes by No worries about that. How already been here, man? An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda's student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here, Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course. And you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, seeing it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Okay, uh, I cannot use this. I'm going for this one. And this one. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my infantry. I don't have any money, so... Thank you. Let's go visit the Peepan Potion. Or Pippins, I have no idea this. Uh, I think I know this one. Pippins or pipins, ah, I don't know. Do the Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. 
I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? So let's let me buy this one. It's free also. And this one too. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. I don't have any money, so. So we got this one too. What is the last one? This is Magic Nip. There we go. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. So we got everything we need. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Rebellion. There we go. See all this collectible. I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Oh my god, something's... The dragon... What the... The Lord. What is that? I think it's uh, the little goblin. I think there's more. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's a fight.
Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it! We have to wrestle! was trying to beat him at his own game. I like it. Do more. You have to use things. Slow him down. Oh my god. Uh, here we go. And one more. He's not dying. He's, I think he's level 3. There we go. Oh, he's angry. Took him long enough. Come on. We need to make sure he stays that way. Come on. There we go. Oh no, last one. Come on. There we go. We got him. Okay, it's a uh, power punch. Whoa, that was great. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are. And we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Repairer. a singer to worry about. And there is more, I think. Yeah, I get four of seven. Repair. Lucky they didn't do more damage. That's the biggest damage here. Where is the last one? Must be here. Repairer. There we go. That wasn't so hard, so maybe something is here. Rebellion. There we go. We were just talking about you. I'm looking for this. Cool. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. Uh, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Of course, I'm going to accept it. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Let's 
There's only one option. I'm gonna bite it. Okay, I'm gonna just... We got five defense order on this one. Mm. Nah, we're good. Thank you. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. I sell even more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Vanrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> Our timeline. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ovenous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock and Rookwood. 
What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything, but it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for uh, watching this part. So I'm going to stop here and we will continue the next part. And so thank you for watching this video. Subscribe my channel and see you guys on the next part. Thank you.